Scout, an AI robot that is designed to essentially patrol your home with your smart devices. Literally, you can go ahead and talk to your Google or Alexa, and you can go ahead and pull up your Scout in a matter of seconds and see exactly what it sees as it's patrolling your home. Now, it features a Omni wheel setup allowing to go up to 20 degrees, as well as a built in 1080p camera that features 120 degrees, as well as night vision capability. So, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing and trying it out and seeing exactly what it's all about. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is Scout. Uh, now, it does come in a variety of different perks, meaning you can go ahead and pick just one Scout, or you can go ahead and buy them in a bundle as two Scouts, which we have today. And they have another bundle where you can actually go ahead and get Zeus. That is right, the humanoid robot also made by Morbot. Now, if you're not familiar with Zeus, it is one of my favorite human robots that can go ahead and dance, sing, as well as punch. Now, the fact that they deem the Scout as Zeus's little brother should be quite interesting to see exactly how it holds up to the mighty Zeus's name. All right, so this here is our Scout, an Omni Wheel directional robot, meaning it can go ahead and maneuver itself in any specific way. So if it does get stuck, it can go ahead and kind of glide its way out. So forward, back, left, right. Now it's got a variety of different sensors and it has a 10 to 80p camera that shoots at 120 degree field. Now it also has night vision and a two way microphone allowing you to go ahead and communicate with it with audio as well. Now it has a port on the top so you can go ahead and technically expand on it, which unfortunately we don't have today, but you can go ahead and attach a claw and do a variety of different sensors too. Now, overall, it is a very nice looking stealthy robot and it does come with a lovely looking charger. So this here is its charger base. So you can see that it does have a flag on here. So the point behind this is that the robot can go ahead and recognize that it's charger. We'll go ahead and reverse back up onto it and charge when it needs to. Now, the idea of it is very amazing and the fact that they're funding right now and this here is one of the very first in the US is really exciting too. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this thing and try it out. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our Scott by simply pressing this button over here. All right, so we're in the Wi-Fi mode. I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. This here is our main menu. So we have a monitor mode, a patrol mode, and a programming mode. So based on what we're doing, we can go ahead and click that. Monitor mode creates an RC car version of it. Patrol mode creates a setting where you can go ahead and set up a schedule. So the robot can go ahead and follow a path and then report back to you its findings. And then lastly, programming mode, which is our coding block mode, allowing us to go ahead and do a drag and drop display. So monitor mode allows us to go ahead and see exactly what the robot sees. So in terms of the control movements go, we can go ahead and move the robot forward just like this. Uh, we can go ahead and rotate it just like that. Uh, we can actually go ahead and kind of glide it about right, left, forward, back. And you can see that the quality of the video is actually pretty spot on. Now, you can see me right there. Hey guys. <laughs> So it's actually pretty good for what it is. Um, it is a 1080p camera that shoots at 120 degrees angles. Uh, you do have control in terms of speed, so I can go ahead and move it slowly, just like this. Or I can go ahead and move it fast, just like this. And yeah, I mean, for what it is, it's actually very easy to use. Uh, now, you also have a few different uh, options mode as well. So on the bottom here, uh, on the bottom right, you can actually go ahead and see Smart Detect. So these are a variety of different motions that you can go ahead and have it detect. Uh, from a person, pet, dog, cat, or even specific zones if you're going to go ahead and set that up. Um, and then we have our path detect. So this will allow us to go ahead and create our own path. We'll hit uh, plus and we're gonna go ahead and name this one. We'll call this test uh, two. And then hit done and hit okay. So we'll go ahead and create the route based on what we're doing. So I can go ahead and make it go back. I can glide it. Uh, I can rotate it this way, make it go back. And then if you kind of zoom in on the screen here, you'll actually see that the pad that it's creating. All you gotta do is go back onto the charger. There you go. And now it says it's been successfully saved. And then if I click on back here, I can go ahead and click on test two and hit yes. And I'll go ahead and start that route now. And you will see that it was just, it just, it's picking up different motions and it'll report back to me. There we go. So it sees me. <laughs> So it does detect me, so you can see the motion tracking right there. So it is tracking me, 
and it determines that I am a, a person. It'll actually notify your phone, letting you know of its findings. Now, besides that, you do have a few different modes in here too. So you have a video mode, so you can record. You have a photo mode on the bottom left. Uh, and then you have a volume, you can listen on the other side. And then you have a microphone too, so you can speak as well. Now, you also have the, um, the mode where it can go ahead and go find this charger. So all you have to do is hit this find charger button. Um, we go ahead and kind of see our charger and we'll hit return to charge and it'll go ahead and return back to its charger just like that. And you'll hear the sound. That means it's now charging. Now they also have a programming mode, which is essentially a drag and drop kind of setup. So if I click on one of these here, this will show you exactly what it is. So there's a start and then it'll go ahead and create a motion and based on what your likings are. On the left here, you do see all the STEM education kind of situations here. So you have to play a sound, play a media, take a photo, you have motions and you have the AI mode, which is cool. So if it detects a person, if the person's identified, then it'll go ahead and perform an action. Uh, if emotions detected, it'll perform an action. And then, you know, it does give you a good capability and you can go ahead and save, you can run, you can preview it. So it's kind of nice that it does give you the STEM education capability with a Scout robot. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try this out. So right now we're using our Alexa and we have our robot in our Wi-Fi mode. So this one is connecting to our Wi-Fi, which is connected to Alexa. So technically, if I say, Alexa, show me Scout One camera. <laughs> it's so cool. Really? Look at that. The fact that you can actually go ahead and connect your smart device like Google Home and this just to your robot is actually very unique. I mean, look at it. <laughs> cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put our robot to the test next and see how it handles an obstacle course. All right, guys, so we went ahead and set up this little obstacle course for our Scout to see how it handles and how it goes ahead and maneuvers itself through tight spaces. So we have a little bit of turns, you have some obstacles, some things to climb over, some things to move. So let's see what happens when we try it out. All right, you ready? Let's do this. All right, so see if we can go ahead and get down from the syncline and, oh, good job. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of glide our way to the side here. Okay, and then we'll move up, glide left. So that's the nice thing about the Omni wheel is the fact that it goes and literally glides over these turns and you really don't get stuck at all because you don't have to reverse. You can just simply turn the whole entire thing without any issues at all. All right, now we're up at this wheel here. So the whole idea behind this is can this particular robot push a tire? Well, a toy tire, so. All right, let's try this out. And, ah, it's pushing it, it's pushing it! All right, we did it, good job. Okay, so that went ahead and cleared that pathway. Now we got this big orange panel to move. Let's see if this thing can push this. All right, it is struggling, but it is doing it, good job. All right, there's Zeus, hey Zeus. And we'll go ahead and move and go through this tight area over here. All right, this thing is just like wiggling through and it did it, all right. All right, kind of moving our way around this bend here and we'll see, hey, it's a Morbot. So this here's the original Hugo Morbot. Definitely a really cool robot as well. All right, let's go ahead and move around and we're kind of bending our way through the turns here. All right, we've got another tight area here. So this is like a bit of a sharp angle and we did it. All right, now we gotta go through this tight area here. So this here's like a low clearance area uh, and the robot does do a good job getting through it. All right, now we're going our way through the final end here as we kind of bend our way through the corner. Let's go ahead and move ourselves. All right, so we got ourselves some wooden crates that we can move around and, okay, good, good, good. All right, we're gonna glide our way around it. All right, all right, cool, yes, we did it. All right, now we gotta move this orange panel here. This will allow us to push this other orange panel. There we go, kind of gonna push that right there. And we're gonna go underneath this tunnel and we're work our way through the final end. And <laughs> we did it. All right, well, there you guys have it. This here is Scout, an overall cool looking Omniwheel robot that's designed to essentially scout your house. <laughs> now, if you guys had any questions about this particular robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.